Well, hi, my name is Matthijs Klaasner from the GLR in Rotterdam. And in this uh, series of tutorials about Adobe XD, I'm going to explain how to build this prototype app for the Expresso Drinks uh, venue. Um, so there are two locations for the venue, uh, one on the GLR main location and the K12 location. Um, and there's a, a recipe guide. So basically this is what we're going to make. This is the uh, prototype app with interaction. So you can go to the recipes of a variety of coffees. Go back to the menu again and view the locations. Let's say the main location. There we go. We've got some information about that location. So that's basically what we're going to build. And uh, well, let's start off with a brand new artboard. So let's make file new a new artboard. And in this tutorial, we're going to make an iPhone 6, 7 Plus prototype. So let's select that one. And that will give us a brand new empty artboard which we can use um, and build up our interface. So let's start off with importing some assets uh, which you can download from the description below this video or on the website. So let's go to file and import. And from the XD demo assets folder you can go into the assets. And then the all artboards will contain the logo and the background image. So select both of them. So there we go and let's arrange things. So let's put this one in the upper left corner, something like this. Um, I'll let it stick out below because of the fact that there are artboards which are bigger than this one. Um, so that's okay. I'm gonna position my logo in there as well. Hold shift to uh, scale proportionally. Something like this would be okay I think for the main screen. Well, to make it look like an interface, we can uh, use the interface elements from uh, from Apple. So let's open the UI kit Apple iOS because um, I want to uh, borrow the provider time and battery elements. So I'm going to copy this bar, command C, and paste it in my own prototype, align it in the middle something like this and I would like it to be fancy if I uh, if there's a, a black area behind it so let's make a rectangle which is white at first but let's change the filling over here to uh, black and I don't want to have a border so this could be it uh, it's now uh, on top of the time and provider and stuff so let's uh, send it backward once there we go now I'd like to have a, a rectangle behind the logo as well so let's alt drag the rectangle and uh, change its order backward again backward again okay this is okay and let's change this one to white but I'd like to have it some uh, some bit of transparency in there as well so let's drag the transparency to 50-ish. That's beautiful. Of course, we need some text in there to welcome people. So let's say, what can we um, brew for you? Select all the text and of course we can change it to uh, whatever font we like. Um, I'm gonna go for the aerials. something like this and then the bold one and maybe I'd like it to be black text and maybe a little word with other color I'd like to use the, the color picker as well to select the color from the logo and this is basically what I'd like something like this all I need to have is uh, some some images for the menu so I'm going to import again to the assets home let's take the first one import there we go something like this so what I'd like to have is a little area below the image to put some text in so I'm gonna alt drag the rectangle again there we go 
readjust it a bit align it with the image something like this and now what I want to do is uh, to round the corners of my image um, you can give the corners a radius like this but I don't want to have the radius uh, at the bottom end of the image so I'm gonna change the corner radius to 22 22 and these are the ones at the bottom I'm gonna change them to zero and I'm gonna do the same with the uh, the other rectangle um, but in that case I'd like to have the 22 22 radius at the bottom end of this rectangle something like this and again I'd like to alt drag the text Go to our coffee. Go to our coffee recipes, and this whole area needs to be a, a button. Um, but I'd like to use some uh, some bits of the uh, iOS device again. So I'm gonna go to the Apple iOS copy. In this case, and I'm gonna search for the arrow. This is the one. Which I'm gonna command C and command V again inside of my app. Um, but I'd like to have it a bit larger and I like to change the color again. So I'm gonna alter it. There we go. And again, I'm gonna use the color picker. Select uh, this color and rotate it 180 degrees in order to let it uh, point in the right direction well this is something I would like to happen inside of my app and I'm gonna select all of the elements with shift together to right click on them and form a group which will make it easier later on when we're making the interaction uh, for the whole button and I'm gonna follow the same procedure again to create the other button there we go now the main menu is ready and now we can continue on to the next artboard which will contain the coffee recipes I will do that in the next video